we used to just ride wherever we could really, STP, all up on the banks. Um, we, there was Johnston as well, which helped us out quite a lot, but the ramps were really slippy and there wasn't like, there wasn't many sort of ramps there to try your new stuff on. The parks helped the area a lot with the local kids and everybody really, because beforehand, if we go to a spot, we'd always get kicked off and asked to move on. And whereas with the park, it's a good place to go, keeps you focused, keeps you interested. There's always something new to learn, always new people down there. You attract people from all over the country really. There's a few people that come down from Scotland, been down here from Europe, places such as Germany. They've all come down here and uh, rode it and it's a good opportunity to make new friends, new connections. And uh, yeah, it just brings local business. It gets Halford West out on the map. The park's helped me a hell of a lot because it's kept me off the streets from like getting pushed off from places. Pe people at home, like say we went down the Mulvadeen docks behind like movie cuts it was then. We'd be down there and then the owners from that place would ring the police, you'd get kicked from there. So you'd go somewhere else then, like behind Tesco's down the Mulvadeen docks. You can get moved from there, police would come down. There's always just, it was like they were trying to spoil your fun. So the skate parks really, really helped from keeping me off the streets and keeping us out of trouble. But it's like, so we, we always used to build stuff there and take it with us and then people would wreck it and stuff as well. So it was always just people spoiling your fun, but now there's not a skate park there. It's like people actually realise and help out quite a lot with it. Even with like picking up rubbish and stuff, it keeps all the community going. It's good, really good keeping all the kids now these days out of trouble as well. Skate park is a massive achievement. I remember getting involved in the skate park. 2000, 2002 maybe, that area. First started petitioning, doing small fundraisers. Back in, I think, 2004, we had a great event, Oktoberfest. Local skaters, local legends getting involved, like uh, Craig Brown, people like that, really pushing it. And then after a while, we sort of started to grow up, lost interest, fighting the battle and losing the battle. Then thankfully, the current HSA took over the reins. They set up and they just pushed and pushed and pushed it. Took an adult's perspective on it on how to raise money rather than uh, us kids messing around trying to do it. Um, and yeah, about 20 years in the making and we finally get it. And we don't just have a little half pipe. Like, that's all we initially wanted. It's a little mini ramp for half pipe and now we've got state-of-the-art facility. It's free to use. It's got lights in the winter, so it means we can use it in the dry, cold nights. And it's allowed so many more people to get involved in the sport with it. Scooter kids are coming up, all the kids on scooters. I got no idea where these people were hanging out before because they weren't down the ledges and places like that. They've just sort of all of a sudden come out of their caves and are now out and about and not playing video games.
getting some exercise and socialising with people. And mixing well, skateboarders, scooter kids, bladers, BMXers, all mix well. When I was younger, it wasn't such a good mix, whereas now everybody appreciates the fact that this facility's here and get on well then and look after it. Four years that park's been there now and not a single piece of graffiti. It says something, it's a lot of plain concrete not to have graffiti because the people who use it care for it. So for me, skate park has improved the local area tenfold. It's given us somewhere to go to start with before we used to go to the ledges by the multi-story car park, street skating, places that most probably weren't the safest. Whereas now we have a fantastic facility that caters to everybody who wants to use the park. It brings loads of people to the area. We get regular people coming down from East Wales, Swansea, Cardiff. A lot of people coming down from England as well. My experience, the furthest we've had somebody come from was Denmark. They come down now every summer to use the park, which is fantastic. But it also means for the years that we've been traveling to skate spots and skate parks all over the country and meeting people, it is now a place for them to come down here and meet us as well. So it brings the whole community together. Um, we're all pulled together when there's events on, such as the Morgan Power Memorial Jam. Uh, there's loads of, when all the jams come on, we all sort of work together and uh, we've all got the same interests. We all congratulate each other when we've learned new tricks and just ride together and just make, make a skate park a good environment to go, make it enjoyable for everyone. Every year we've had a, just like a jam where everyone gets together. And Maverick, who built the skate park, come down with prizes and stuff and with like pro riders and skateboarders and stuff like that, they all come down and they get everyone going and we do like a scooter jam, a skateboard jam, bike jam. But then uh, they do that every single year and then we've done a couple of charity events ourselves then, such as the Morgan Power Jam, which was for one of my friends. We started doing that last year, which was the first one we'd done. We just spoke to his mother and his mother was fine with it. And she was really proud of us as well. Like, so we just done like, so like stickers and stuff like that, like hot dogs and that. After a skate park association come in and helped us out with it, and they just really done helped us out a hell of a lot. We went to meetings and stuff to organise it. Last year we had there was just stickers and stuff, and we just got we raised I think it was five hundred and something pound. I can't remember the total amount, but I know it was in the five hundreds. And then this year his mother came in and helped us out and uh, helped us out a hell of a lot of it and she said I know someone that can get, get us t-shirts. We made stupid amounts of money on the t-shirts and then on the stickers as well. We doubled the amount last year, it was like 1,000, just over a thousand pound we raised this year. 
but it's for pancreatic cancer this year. And last year it was for the bucket full of hope, which is the, for the new awards. So I've been with the hospital for the chemotherapy award. So we've done that. And this year was a pancreatic. And um, Morgan's mum actually helped us out a hell of a lot with it this year as well, which was really good. And what we've done, because we raised a hell of a lot more than last year, that Lily does not backflip on the one on the wheelchair. We donated £200 to wear out of the money to for towards your new wheelchair as well. And we still managed to raise £1,000 as well as donating £200 to Lily for a wheelchair, which is like really good. It's, it's crazy, it's mad. And everyone that helped was like amazing, especially the HSA, it's class.